welcome to the show. Today, we will meet with our 11 member jury panel who are evaluating the 2012 Sultan Qaboos Award for Excellence in e Government. Now, I will leave you to watch a small introduction about our jury members. Please, don't go anywhere. I can see that our game is getting more exciting and challenging now. It's hard to tell who will win. Do you think the competition this year among the project submission is also competitive to that level? You know, Rashid, we received 57 submissions in 12 categories this year. Uh, the competition was unequal as some categories received more submissions than others. However, with several really strong submissions that could easily aspire to the international best practice category, the competition was indeed very intense. Thanks, Thomas. Walid, are you ready to go on air? Sure, Rashid. And now, we are going to take a short break. Rashid, the projects that we evaluated uh, were actually quite a bit more advanced than initially anticipated. They showed greater efficiency, more transparency, and increased participation by the general population with their government, all of which are healthy factors in any e-government system. Wally, this sounds great, but you have to look at the camera. Sylvia, can you share with us how this award has grown in the last three years? Certainly, Rashid. I see two new categories for the private sector. This adds a complete new dimension for this award. Five different private projects serving a large number of people, banking, telecom and education. It is very important to increase the level of cooperation as this leads to more effective e-services for the public. Thanks, Sylvia. Who will win that trophy? Welcome back to Who Will Win That Trophy. Miller, ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. How many government and private organizations participated in the 2012 awards? It's easy. B, 30. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. You try to trick me. Get me confused. 30. Right answer. Dr. Jamal, how many projects have been evaluated this year? Answer A. Rashid, no need. I know the answer to this one, and I don't even need your options. 57 projects have been evaluated, 52 of those from the public sector, and 5 from the private sector. Martin, you have only 30 seconds to call a friend. Thomas, can you quickly tell me what the two new categories in the 2012 HM Awards for Excellence in E-Government is? Quick, Thomas, I need the answer now. Thank you, Thomas. The answer is best public e-service and best public mobile service. Are you sure? I'm quite sure, Rashid. It's the answer of the chairman of the jury. Right answer. Please don't go anywhere. We will know very soon who will win the trophy. As a jury observer in the last two years, what significant changes have you seen in this 2012 awards? 
there have been some very marked changes. For a start, we were allowed to read all the uh, applications before we came, thus saving a lot of time once we got to Muscat here. In regards to the content of the application, there's been a big improvement this year in relation to using the social media, user engagement, listening to users. But we do recommend that in future there be much better cooperation between the government entities. Thank you, Jeremy. Your portrait looks great. Are you ready for the recording? Cool, Rashid. Let's get going. Three, two, one, on air. Online evaluation, that's how the jury works in the awards process. Like submissions being done online, so do we enter our scores, our suggestions for future improvements, the strengths and weaknesses of projects. But as something new this year, we started doing the evaluation remotely. This means that I actually started working with the evaluation from Copenhagen before coming here. That sounds great. Let's hear Vika's thoughts. It is my privilege to be associated with these awards for three years now. The projects have enhanced in their maturity level over these years. Innovative use of mobile technologies and devices has increased among many projects. The level of citizen engagement initiatives has become quite advanced. The overall progress over these three years has been steady and satisfactory. Thank you, Vikas. And now, my director is telling me we have to cut to our news break. It's down to the wire as the jury panel decide who will take home the awards for the 2012 Sultan Qaboos Award for Excellence in E-Government. With the names of the winners sealed an envelope awaiting the big announcement, the jury panel take time to enjoy a tour of the Royal Opera House Muscat. Sylvia and Christine are supposed to be on their way to the airport, but they are lost in Matrah Souk and by the multitude of choice in Omani souvenirs. And now, back to our regular schedule program. So Jamal, this is the first year in His Majesty's Awards that the private sector has been able to make a submission and maybe win something. First of all, I think that the private sector has a lot to add in terms of value for the public services in Oman. Um, I think that they can provide quite a lot in terms of their inspiration and driving forward other public sector services in the area as well. So Howard, uh, as somebody who works in the private sector, um, can you give me some reasons as to what motivates the private sector to get engaged in public service delivery? So it is true, I do work in the private sector and the private sector is motivated by the ability to make a small amount of profit. So even when the private sector is providing services in the public domain, profit becomes the motive. Quality is really important, but profit is the motive. But Jamal, it is now time to go back to Rashid. Rashid, the microphone is yours. Rashid, this footage you're editing looks amazing. I try to do my best. Tell us, Doctor, what have you observed in the jury process over the last five days? Actually, I am very impressed with some of the projects that were presented. Um, and I believe also there are other projects that have great potential of making bigger impact in the near future. That's very good to hear. Well, frankly, Rashid, I found the remote assessment sessions uh, helped us as uh, jury members to focus uh, further on the actual evaluation process. Thanks, Dr. Haitham. We have some live action reports coming with us right now. Please stay with us. We can see Al Bustan Palace, the venue for this year's jury evaluation. And on my right, I can see Luisa enjoying the Omani sun. The Omani people is special and the Omani culture is special and very, very interesting and unique. Some of these projects I've seen here really have 
the potential of taking the Omani society further into the future, really making a difference for the Omani society. And that is really important about the work we have done identifying these projects. Over by the pool, we can see Jeremy and Christine deep in discussion. I wanted to ask you, you know, your, this is your first time in Amman for the e-government awards. What do you think about the quality and the impact of these services you've seen? Well, Jeremy, I must admit I was really impressed with the quality of the services, in particular considering the scope and the broad range of the projects from so many different policy areas. In terms of impact, uh, there is um, a differentiation to be made between yeah. the different projects. Because some are still in their initial phases, so yeah. we'll have to see the impact yeah. in the future, and I'm looking forward. Thank you, Christine. That was very interesting. Now it's time to go back to the studio. Rashid, the microphone is yours. Thanks, Jeremy. 57 projects submitted, 30 public and private organizations, 11 jury members from around the world. Who will win the awards? Stay tuned while we wait for the announcements of the winners. See you next year. Ma'asalaamu.